Hi everyone. This is my fun, easy technique for just like small amounts of found cash. Um, you know how like in the back of your closet, you may have the off season jackets and you know, like in the summer you have your winter coats there and in the winter you have your summer jackets there, or you may have a specific closet for that. But because there's always those days where you're like, oh my God, it's summertime, but today I need my winter coat or vice versa. It's winter time. Usually in your regular closet, you will have like one or two jackets that's out of season, but accessible. This is a jacket where I invite my found money to exist. Because, I mean, how many times is it like, okay, winter's coming and you put on your winter jacket and you reach in your pockets and you find something that you left there, you know, six, eight months ago. And you're like, oh my God, look at this. I got $20. Oh my God, ticket stubs to a movie I went to. Or, you know, oh, grocery list. Or, you know, oh, that's the letter I was supposed to mail. Oops. <laughs> So I keep my found money jacket at the end of my coat closet. And whenever I need like a little bit of cash, I will go, huh, I wonder what I left in my jacket at the end of last season. And I will reach my hand in and I'll pull out and there's always one dollar, three dollars, five, ten, twenty. It's always a small, insignificant amount. Once in a while, I'll find more, but most of the time, it's just pretty small. So, whenever you, what I've taken to doing to help this happen is I purposefully leave things in my jacket pockets, like little things, not big messes. So, I get used to finding lost things in my. Oh my word, that's so funny. I was so getting into like um, the whole energy of it. I think I overwhelmed my laptop and it shut off. <laughs> so um, I've rebooted. <laughs> um, and here's the thing. Uh, it can be your jacket. It can be the sofa cushions. It can be uh, money in a book. I've used all of those because I am a voracious reader. Piles of books all over my house and bookshelves lining the walls. So I'm like, okay. Um, I had a grandmother who used money as bookmarkers. And um, my grandfather used to send me into their library to look through all the pages of the books and pull out the money and bring it to him. So to me, that's a very natural place to find money inside the sofa cushions. I mean, we all know that one. How many times have we gone cushion diving to like, you know, pay for the pizza guy or whatever. So find the place that's comfortable for you. And it can be multiple places, you know, um, and then invite money to just always be showing up there. You'll be amazed and delighted because this is such a fun exercise and it's so ridiculous. If you don't have a lot of faith in yourself making it happen, invite the fairies to make it happen. Fairies and elves, I mean, come on, they love pots of gold. They love messing with money. And you can chat with them like, why are you always dangling this ridiculous thing? that humans crave so much in front of us because they love messing with us. So you're inviting them to do what they love the most, mess with you by making money appear in these very odd places, a little treasure hunt. Oh my God, they love that. So have fun with it. And who knows what will happen while you're looking for money, you may stumble across something else. Or maybe this working with money will open your skills to apport objects. And the next thing you know, you got crystals and rubies flowing in on you. I've seen that happen. And on a rare occasion, I've apported things. <laughs> and then I freak out every time. So have fun. Have fun. Enjoy. 
and let's just keep manifesting. Remember, subscribe to Bonita Woods and The Core Shift because we are manifesting more subscribers so we can bring more fun videos to you. Bye.